Right guys, so we're back with another OPC um, video, this time with Fluid Sim and uh, Siemens TIA Portal. Again, not an easy fix um, with newer and old, older versions of the software. I'm using Fluid Sim 4, um, I have TIA Portal V14, um, but sure, we'll go through it and see what way um, we're set up. So, a couple of software downloads that you need. Obviously, you're right, you need Fluid Sim, um, you're going to need uh TIA portal okay I have v14 I've also got PLC sim v14 but that's not gonna work and what you need is you need EZ OPC which is software um from Festo which basically gives you um as we say kind of that in between translator between fluid sim and the S7 PLC okay uh so like I said this doesn't seem to work for the newer version TIA Portal V14 or for PLC V14. Um, you'll see there is an option for PLC Advanced. So if you have PLC Advanced, it may work, but that you know you pay for a license to get that. Um, but that may be an option. But what I'm doing is um, setting up this kind of translation through the EZ OPC Festo branded um, OPC kind of a converter, and we're going through. What we're going to do is we're going to actually use an older version of PLC SIM to get the communication. All right, and I'll talk you through it. So first stop is just hopping into TIA portal. Okay, um, now if I go into just my main block, um, you know, I've just done some basic code. So extend, puts that forward, return, puts that back. Okay, uh, and just put them again in the first kind of byte of inputs and outputs. Now, if we go to the actual device, because we're going to use an older version of PLC SIM, we've got to use an older um, PLC, okay, to simulate it. So what you'll see I have here is just a CPU 314, and uh, so it'll only work with S7 and uh, PLC's 300 or 400 series. This, this um, kind of tutorial will only work for it. And then I've just put in an input and output module beside it. Um, that's there so that I can get in eight inputs and eight outputs okay so that's all the real setup here and um, what you then need to do is if you if you download Siemens and you have TIA uh, portal v14 you see you will get with this um, your somatic and your step 7 and you'll get this s7 PLC simulating modules so this is a virtual PLC for um, the series 300 and 400 PLCs from Siemens so what we're going to use is we're going to use this to simulate it. Um, so we can't use the new and improved uh, TIA PLC sim. Um, so we have to use the old one. And you'll see it does something kind of funky when, when I open it. It's hard to actually see where it is in the in the windows. Uh, it can be a wee bit awkward just to find it. Yeah, so I don't know, sometimes it pops up or it kind of looks like it's hidden there. Well, listen, you can see it's opened up, okay, uh, the simulating module, so it's just this virtual PLC. Um, and then ultimately, how you definitely know it's working is, if I go ahead and download my code, you'll see it's downloading into this virtual PLC, into this, um, you know, I've not connected, no hardware connected up here. And if I go online, you'll see I start to get... Um, all green so it's just logged into that that virtual PLC down here um, which we can see here it's in the simulation mode so the codes in there and um, that's good so what I need to do then is hop back into Festo again make sure your options are for OPC mode in here for the simulation mode here we've got the input and output cards again a little bit confusing in the sense that the inputs are going into the out fluid some out and then the in is going um, into the outputs, it's just it's kind of back to front. Um, but then what we got to do is we got to double click on this. So you're using the Festo Didactic EZ OPC number two. Okay, so this one down here. So make sure you're using that. And then what you're able to do is it's going to give you a couple of notifications. I say okay, and then you're going to look for PLC SIM and look for. Um, the A is because the A is going to refer to your outputs. Click that, make sure that's okay. Click okay. And then your E, again, make sure it's on this one here. 
browse, look for PLC sim, EBO for your inputs. Language is a little bit confusing. And then when you click play, you should start seeing some connections. Okay, so you'll see I've got a client connected. We're connected to PLC sim down here. Um, so everything looks like it's hooked up. So if I go ahead, it's not quite working at the moment. Yeah, so my problem is just, again, this we fell it so hard to find them, this module down here. So you see the way it's very small. Just make sure you put this into, into run mode. Um, so I've actually just got it disconnected. So I'm going to download in again. Um, make sure to load it in. And then once it connects into that, that PLC sim down below, that simulating module. I don't know, for some reason it doesn't open up fully at times. It kind of gets hidden away. Um, so look, make sure you're connected. All green along the side. Um, you know, even if you wanted to see this from the simulating module, you can go ahead, if you go, go online and see the way it's very hard to, to view it, but I can um, create these these windows. So if you just add in add it, an input window, add an output window, you'll see if I trigger um, and I put it into run mode, you'll see I'll trigger it, see the way the output matches it. And you'll see if I go back into here, see the way it's, it's matching up with that. So that's how we know it's definitely linked. So we can see it down here as well that it's linked um, to the TIA portal. And then essentially once this is in run mode and you have PLC um, TCP IP communication, we should be able to go back online in here. We should be, give it a minute, should see our connections and then if we play it there we go everything simulating nicely the way we wanted to and again if we try and put those side by side we should see it linking with all the software we see it there it turns on as long as i keep that pressed so that's working and then again if we do it with the tia portal pull that to the side um, if we can get somewhat of a, a viewpoint with it. I know it's extremely hard to see. Bear with me. Um, you know, the main thing is that we can see those, those softwares communicating. So that's how you do it with Siemens TIA portal. Um, it's a bit of a workaround. Uh, a lot of different kind of packages and um, you gotta kind of make sure that you're using the right version. As I said, you see, like if like the Siemens have gone on ahead and updated, you know, the TIA portal v14 or v15 now or something, um, you know, so if this kind of converter package from Festo doesn't get updated, it won't work. You know, you can see down here version 2.3 of Codasys, um, S7 PLC sim only works for those 300 400 controllers. Um, potentially, if you had PLC sim advanced and paid for the license, you could get use of it. But um, that's a bit of a workaround to how to do it with uh, Siemens TIA. Listen, hopefully you have found this video useful. Um, any other hints or tips that you've come across, do let me know. Uh, feel free to share. Cheers.